a legacy. So you see, as I flew to Brooklyn, New York to bury my grandmother and lay her in the grave to make sure she transitioned in the proper place, I got to see the New York skyline for the first time as a grown adult as I stood on the 53 story of the Ashland condominiums, the same place where my grandfather still resides, and that's when I really realized what legacies are supposed to be about. See, as a grown young kid, I used to always wonder what the New York skyline looked like so I could see all the different boroughs with my own two eyes, but see, I realized, with my real eyes, that my grandmother was leaving seeds inside of me that I didn't understand. You see, I used to work my nine to five, like my five to nine, and when I found out that she did the same thing, built out the gospel soul from her lungs to the last breath of her life, as she sat in the wheelchair, she made sure she planted the prophecies in my third state of mind, so I really realized, as I stood on the Ashland condominiums, getting to see the New York skyline for the first time, I really realized the legacy was fulfilled. So I ask you, are you leaving the proper legacies? Making sure that the proper seeds are planted in the proper soil at the proper time so that everybody gets a chance to eat from the same tree you see. I realize that the proper seeds and roots are not just for me to eat, it's for everybody to eat. So a few years back, right down the street, I used to do this poem called Realize What Your Real Life and Live Your Real Life. And it's funny how all my friends, I said, I used to do this poem called Realize With Your Real Eyes and Live Your Real Life. And it's funny how everybody around me was living their real life but me. So I went back to the drawing board and the paint brush too. They sit back and watch the paint dry. They say sometimes oil based is the type of paint that takes a long, long time to dry. So as you pack the proper seeds and focus on your legacy, I see what my grandmother was embedding in me and I realized that for my 9 to 5 grind, oh, I was going to get it done from the 5 to 9. No matter what it took, I was going to leave these legacies for my kids to eat. You see, my son is Chris that poetry, and you know what's funny? He's fucking better than me, and that's the way it's supposed to be. So I ask you, are you leaving the proper legacies? So that everybody around you gets a chance to eat. You see, I'm making sure those seeds are properly planted in the proper soil at the right time, and I just sit back and let God's mind just shine. It's the only thing I can do is make sure that He gets the water at the right time. But He told me to stay focused on His mind. So when I close my eyes in 2020, I meditate all the time and deal with my fucking demons because you have to go inside to deal with your demons and focus on your own state of mind. Ain't nobody coming back to save your fucking life but you. Look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you've been the one bullshitting and you know it's true. So when you get back on your real life and live your real life, everybody else around you is going to gravitate to you because you finally realize that you're living your real life. Don't get it twisted, I've been on my motherfucking grind. Poor boy, and a few pieces for me and that nigga don't lie. So be focused on the reason that you truly are alive and properly plant the proper seed in due time. You see, Poe ain't the only one that has my art. My family got my art too. And the family in this building got a piece of my art and it's fucking true. So focus on your mind and get your state of mind right. There ain't no second chance in this thing they call life. Even though you tell me to rewind this poem, guess what? Life don't have no rewind button. It's right now. And I love presence, and I think I love presence all the time. I'm not focused about the path, I can't go back and change shit anyway. And the future's too broad, but I ain't present, so I guess I'll stay present today. And see, that's what my grandmother taught me as I got to see the Brooklyn view, and I got to see Staten Island too. I got to see the Brooklyn Bridge at the beautiful view. I got to see with my own two eyes, and my kids are going to see the same thing in due time, so I stay focused on the legacies that I'm leaving in due time. And sometimes I can wear a watch on my right side, but today I roll one at 10 o'clock with an abstract castle on my mind. I focus on the reason that I truly am alive. So when I'm 40 years old, I thank God for his mind and his time and the life that he gave me. I can't wait to live to be a honest. In due time. So I ask you, are you leaving the proper legacies? For everybody to eat. Because if you properly plant those proper seeds in the proper soil and they'll produce the right fruit from the proper tree, guess what? Everybody has a chance to eat legacies. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. So, like,
always come ready. I do got my prints in the bag. I also have a pre book. I got a book coming out. I got a creative writing cover book called Poetic Graffiti. It is a book. Right now, the pre book is only $10. Only $10? That's free. So, how that mean? I do have these books for those that are writers or artists that want to break out of the mold. That's what this book is supposed to be for. It's called Poetic Graffiti. It's some poems and it's some graffiti that I write with my mind. So if you want to get back into a chill state of mind, holla at me, peace and blessings. Thank y'all for the birthday blessings. Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, peace and blessings.